All righty. So it's about to rain here, but I felt, you know, after a day using the, the Toro stump grinder, what is this? This is the, this is the, uh, the rental one. It's, it's the SGR 13. So this is what I was using for today. I used this stump grinder about uh, four or five times. So I have a pretty good handle on uh, how it works and, and the performance of it. Uh, this particular one has 100 hours on it. I probably put on uh, probably about an hour or two today. There's a lot of stump grinding, but um, some general features. It's a Honda. I think it's a 13 horsepower engine, a good quality engine. You have the start and stop switch there. Um, this is the fuel valve there to turn it on. This, I think that's connected to the choke. Um, and so the, the air filtration system is there. Uh, you have this bar here for stabilizing, or you want to push it down further. You got the, uh, the teeth right in there. So it's a sort of small, it's a smaller wheel, um, but the performance was pretty good as I tested it. Um, this stump grinder really excels when you're talking about smaller shrunk, uh, stumps that are four or five inches. Um, if you have a really large stump, this isn't going to do it. Um, and again, it is, this is pretty laborious to move around and to handle. I mean, it is quite heavy. Um, and you have to realize when you're on the job, you know, um, you know you'll start it and uh, you, hug, you push it up to the stump. Again, this is not self-propelled, so you're going to have to move it all around. Um, this is just a blade engagement. You see there's just one bar, and this is a throttle cable there. Uh, so, you know, what you'll do is you'll just move it up to the stump. This disc will lock in place. It'll squeeze it together, and you just rotate, and you can see it pivots on that wheel. Um, so it is, you know, don't think it's going to be a walk in the park with the, uh, the non-self-propelled stump grinders. It is very heavy, so you're going to be moving it around, and it'll give you quite the workout. I mean, throughout the day, you're just going to be going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, again, I've, I've used this mainly on smaller stumps, on clearing sort of projects and stuff like that. Um, I, I tried it once on a large stump that was probably 20 inches or so, and it just it does not do it. You can't use this machine for it. Um, it it's back-breaking work, and, and, and uh, you know, it's going to take a, a long time. I like the, the tread on the tires. It's real aggressive, so it, it digs in when you're, when you're on the job. Um, it, you know, if you have a smaller project, I definitely recommend it. I mean, the construction of the machine is just really, uh, really rugged construction. The, the, uh, the belt is in here. Everything is just 3 8 inch steel going all the way around. So it is, it is a well-built machine. Um, I think uh, it, it's well-constructed. I think the machine goes for around four or 5000 um, I always prefer to rent these machines and, you know, this was Home Depot and, you know, they say online it's like 150 to rent it, but after you, know, you get insurance and, and tax, it's like 180, which, which isn't that bad for a day rental. Um, I used it on two, uh, two projects and it was about, I'd say like half a day. So I have, uh, another half a day tomorrow to use it. Uh, but I always prefer to rent these machines just because it's the nature of the work. You know, when you go in a jungle and people want you to clear it. Uh, there's so much stuff in there. You know, there could be construction debris, there could be wire, there could be bricks, um, and so I, in in many instances, like even uh, today, you know, I was I was actually using another one, and it broke, because what I'm doing is I'm stump grinding around rocky material. Um, you know, these shrubs are encased in brick, so it, it's hitting that. So what ended up happening was. Uh, I busted the pull cord, so that pulled right out. And um, also the, uh, the teeth went dull. So, you know, another convenient thing is when you're renting, it's just, you know, if something goes wrong, you take it back, you get another one, and you're good to go. Um, and again, it's the expense of the machine. It's like five grand. So it's a lot of overhead. But just because this machine is going to be put in brutal conditions, uh, I just, I don't recommend buying one. Again, it's very expensive. And the nature of the work is it's very easy to destroy it, you know. Um, there's other times where you'll be working and there may be some uh, underground coil or or some construction material type substance like that and it'll wrap around the uh, the the, um, the grinding wheel and so you get a problem there um, I, overall I mean the performance of the machine you know, it's it grinds pretty fast I'd say for an average stump you're looking at probably 15 minutes or, or so to grind grind it out and um, the deflection of material is also pretty good um, when you're using it, you know, you have the side flap here 
Uh, so rubber side flap and then one in the back, which, uh, which eliminates uh, most of the debris coming back out, out at you. Uh, so that's good there. Uh, anything else that I can think of? Hmm. Uh, the fuel capacity is very large, so it's convenient, so you don't really have to refuel once. So uh, that thing I like, but the, I mean, the major cons are it's really heavy to use. And even though you think it's going to be easier to remove the shrub, and you're going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So it, it is brutal on you. You know, after a day, you're going to feel it. So uh, if you're an older guy, uh, you're probably going to want to opt for the uh, self-propelled unit. Um, those are like $200 for the day, whereas I think it starts at like $232. Uh, for um, you know a larger stump grinder that that's self-propelled. Again, this is not a Carlton stump grinder. It's not a couple passes and you're done. You're gonna have to be moving it back and forth, moving it back and forth, and digging it in every occasionally. Um, but for smaller pro projects, I mean, it's fine. And what you can do is uh, you can do multiple jobs with it. You know, you can line up all your stump grinding jobs in a day, and so that defers the the cost per job and it sort of minimizes it. Um, anything else? Uh, Oh, also, when you're, uh, when you're starting it, sometimes the, the starting system can have a little kick to it, so you can uh, hurt your hand doing that. So you get, that's one thing to be careful of. And, um, no, those are the major features. Um, it is pretty loud. That's another thing, so you might piss off some of the neighbors. I don't know if I can start it here. Um, let's see. So you can hear... So you can see it's pretty loud, um, and all it is is um, you know on and off. And, I mean, you're pushing this thing around. It, there is no self-propelled. I wish there was self-propelled, but uh, no cigar. So that's the overview. I think it's good. Uh, personally, if I was, I would not use this. Uh, you know, if, if let's say I had a tree service, uh, I would definitely not opt for this one. I would go for the um, self-propelled unit, even though it costs more. Uh, this thing is sort of brutal. I mean, it does have its application. It's a smaller unit. It's 30 inches, or I think 30 inches, 30 or like 35 inches. So you can fit into back backyards, and it's accessible in that manner. But if you're the one doing the work, it's uh, it does take a toll on you. So that's just something to keep in mind. But a rugged machine. It's well built. I mean, um, even the this is the the one that they're renting out. I mean, this one has 100 hours on it. Oh, I just noticed this this thing came off. Um, but these things do take a take a beating, but I think it's 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 well built. Just uh, you know, just keep in mind that it's it's going to give you a workout. So that's the review of the Toro SG one thirty two SGR thirteen. Oh, close enough. Um, yeah, so well built machine. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope it gave you some insights. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and then uh, check out the uh, description uh, below. You can see some cool stuff from the gear I have, some shirts, all kinds of stuff. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.